Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see a simple workflow. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's go to our workflow application from system configuration module, platform configuration module, workflow design. We see a simple workflow and the chart to explain it. Let's see this workflow solution review and approval process. Okay, this workflow is changed by Wilson. Change the date while this date it's enabled but not active. That means it's enabled but not working. Okay. Okay, this is uh, the workflow name, workflow description, and this is the object that workflow is working on. This is the object, very important. If we have revision, this is revision 1. You can make revision 2, revision 3, as you want, as you like. Okay? This is our workflow. This is the start button. Start and stop is mandatory. Okay. And this is task node. Start and stop is mandatory nodes. This is the task node. Task node will, will, will go to your inbox. Okay or your assignment okay so from start we see this arrow we need an action here this is a positive one okay after start it will go to admin so it will go to admin inbox Okay, this is a rule ID related to sole admin, solution administrator. Okay, this is the rule ID related to sole admin. If we go to this rule, I see value is sole admin. This is person group. Let's go to this person group. Will go to all persons. Okay, let's do this group. We can add more than a person here. Okay, so this person will, will get the inbox of this workflow. Let's return the value. Broadcast important box here. It will go to all persons in this person group. So we turn to our workflow. Okay, we can create communication template and escalation role also. Okay, this solution administrator and this person group will receive the inbox the assignment okay so we start we go to solar admin we now we have two choice to stop it let's see this positive okay if it's active solution action it will stop another way it will go to Return to originator for clarification and update. If it's accepted, it will change and stop. If not, it will go to this goal originator. Okay, it's also the role ID of this originator. It's also custom class who created created by the system.
Okay, now, now we have two options. To change the status and stop workflow and or to return it to its originator. Okay, send the workflow. Okay. Uh, in other videos, we will talk more about workflow. If we need to activate, we can activate the process from here. Okay, that's all. Thank you.